another video. I sure hope it's recording right now. If not, <laughs> uh, this is again Skylar, my buddy, Blue Belt over here, next to Jiu Jitsu and Folsom. I'm Andrew, and we're going to be looking at one of our attacks from Top Crucifix. So when I go into Top Crucifix options, I can do a lot of different things. Right? I can do inverted triangles, I can go to mount, I can do I like funny little roll, rolling triangles to conventional triangles, I can do far side straight arm bars, I can do far side arm bars for like quarter arm bars. But there's a little trick I like to do with my far side arm bar. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the quarter arm bar because um, you don't control the hips and the most common escape for that is a hitchhiker and when you're going with somebody good or explosive as soon as you go into those quarter arm bars, they're going to try to um, run away from you with their hips and go into those hitchhikers. It's not unmanageable and it's not impossible, but I prefer to set up some um, intric or intricacies in the position that don't allow them to even get into those thoughts, right? So we're looking at both variations. I'll show you the far side arm bar where you get into the quarter arm bar and the far side arm bar where I actually throw my leg over and I don't allow them the opportunity to hitchhike. So let's look at it. But let's go. So when I'm here in the side control and I want to go to this far arm, I need to start getting over this arm, right? I can't go into the far arm if this hand's in, in front of me. It's going to block me, right? So most of the time what I'm going to do is sit my hip to his hip and that opens up space for me to use my hand and my elbow to pin his arm. And now my knee's just going to go inside his elbow and paint in our top crucifix. If this is MMA, I think, uh, who was it? Matt Hughes versus Hoyce Gracie and a number of other people is a good TKO position. I honestly prefer to have my hip side leg, so I have a head side leg and a hip side leg. I prefer to have my hip side leg controlling if I want to do damage here or I'll have both stacked. If I want to go to far side arm bars, I need to have my hip side leg controlling their arm. That's mandatory. So that my hip is free, my leg is free to go around their head. If it's this leg, obviously I can't step around their head. And if it's in the middle, when I go around, if I try to go, his arm is in a position that can give me trouble once I get into the arm bar. Now I have to below my leg, I start pushing my leg between his leg and his elbow. They can start giving me a lot of trouble here. So I don't want his arm between my legs. I don't want it under my head side leg or his head side leg. I want it under the hip side leg. So again, here, side control. I drop my hip to his hip, make space so I can pin. Head side leg goes over. And then I do a little hurdle where my hip side leg goes over. Now here, what I need to do is pull his shoulder off the mat so I can expose his back. Right, right now, obviously there's no way I can get to the arm bar. So I use this underhook where I grab the shoulder or the tricep and I'm going to push off the mat and pull him up to his side. And now this is where we can add a little bit of that mean stuff that I like. Right here, I smash his head into the mat. Right? I'm not going to be nice here. Okay? And as I'm doing that, I'm usually extending this arm up so I get his right hand and left hand as far away from each other as possible. Now the quarter arm bar, what you're gonna do is step your foot to their, kind of to where their um, shoulder blades are, and you're gonna, don't stand up, don't come up here and try to go. Just sit your butt to your heel here, as close to your heel as possible. I don't wanna sit far from him, I wanna sit my butt as close to my heel as possible. And now you can see we're in this quarter arm bar position where my leg, my leg does not control his hips or his, or his uh, torso. And this offers a lot of hitchhiker potential because his hips can just run pretty easily, right? So the rule for that is, as soon as I land, because I have his left arm, I'm gonna pull everything to my left. So I go straight to his wrist and go left, left, left. And that way, he's not gonna be able to run, try to run here. He's still getting broken, okay? So if you're gonna play quarter arm bars, the rule is take their arm, their left hand towards your left armpit, your left elbow towards your left hip, and it'll be really hard for them to run out without getting broken anyway. But it's still possible for him to hitchhike, and I don't like that, right? So what I like to do 
Instead is I'm gonna throw, instead of stepping my foot behind his back, I just throw it right in front of his hips, all right? So here, I sit my hip in, in, head side leg goes over, hurdle the hip side leg over, pull him up, smash the head down, extend his arm, and now here, the importance of this as well is so that I can face towards his hips, right? And now I'm just gonna bring my head up high to make space, and I take my leg all the way around and through in front of his belly, right? So instead of going here, I just go here, and I step in front of the belly. So now when I go back, I'm walking this back in. So now when I go back, he can't run because I have this uh, cross arm bar position, right? So now um, I can just lay back and play my conventional arm locks. I also like it because as soon as I throw this leg over, as he tries to connect his hands, I can put my foot right inside his elbow pit. When we're playing this game, we never want to use the head side foot because now his head is free, he can sit up, he can do a bunch of things. I need to keep his head pinned. So I use my hip side foot to block his secondary elbow, all right? So again, motion, side control, sitting my hip to his hip, pinning, head side leg, all right? Good position here. This is where I can go into like conventional triangles and things of that nature. But I want to go far side arm bar. So I pick, I palm or uh, hurl my leg over, close, pull him up off the mat. Here, bringing my elbow in front of his body, pushing the head down and extending everything up. I'm going to start facing his hips, so it's easier for me to hurl my leg. Face the hips, hurl my leg over in one motion, and now as I sit, I use this leg to block him from grabbing his hands together. Try to grab your hands together. I can use the hip side leg. And now here, we go into our breaks, get our finishes, and we can laugh at each other, or I can laugh at him after. I honestly do this arm bar maybe billions and billions, three or four times every practice. Like, it's so consistent, so powerful. Learned it from my coach, Mike Mitchell, um, back in the day. He's worked high with Tara, many years, whatever. Oh, also shout out to Tom Smash Fallon. He's my kickboxing coach here at Nexus Jiu Jitsu. We also do some of the fisticuffs. Um, so yeah, if you want to get into those arm bars, quarter arm bars aren't wrong. Quarter arm bars are great. Um, you just need to understand what their options are and start closing off those avenues of escape. That's why you got to go left, 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 or right, right, right. Make it a lot harder for them to go into their hitchhikers. Um, if you want to just forego all that, if you don't want to think about any of that, just step your leg right over and go directly into cross arm bars and uh, get to a winning position before they even have the chance to escape. Um, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done that yet. If you want to see anything or have any questions or comments about the motion, throw it down in the comments. Again, it's my buddy Skyler, resident blue belt. Uh, I'm Andrew. Go train.